Hey guys, this is Richard from Clash with RLF, and I was going to highlight the use of earthquake spells, but in our team has become quite a master of earthquake spells and pretty much only attacks with earthquake spells. And so today, I'm going to show you how he uses earthquake spells for the resource based ring. He picks a corner. goes. So he drops off four earthquakes and as you know it doesn't really matter what level earthquake spell you have. They will knock down all the walls. And I'm sort of conflicted about that because but because they take four spaces where you can bring other spells. Um, four seems right even for other levels. Maybe they should have more destructions on the other buildings in the area with the higher one than they do but he just drops all his troops down. He has four balloons for cleanup. Uh, there's a Lava Hound and Balloon in the CC. His Archer Queen seems to be attacking the Lava Hound, but it doesn't really matter. The King is attacking the Town Hall, and hopefully he will be able to get it before, but he doesn't. So the Archer Queen is still attacking the Lava Hound, and then she's going to start focusing on other things. And the town hall did come down with the Becca that was still in the middle. So he's already gotten 46 points. I would have actually put the balloons just on the cannons um, instead of putting them so far away because they're going to go for defenses. And during this time, it's, it's a far way to go. So it's kind of interesting how he's just dropped it at the top. I would probably have dropped two in the cannons at the time. His Archer Queen is still alive. And dropping it in twos would probably have saved it from the air defense. So now the cannon is attacking the Archer Queen. And she probably would have gone farther had he done that. But he ends the base wisely. So the second base he attacked is um, also a very similar base. And... He does pretty much exactly the same thing. So he drops his four earthquake spells. He drops his P.E.K.K.A.s. He's really in love with P.E.K.K.A.s. Golems. And then he has four P.E.K.K.A.s. And five P.E.K.K.A.s. Another P.E.K.K.A. on the CC. And some wizards and some witches. He used to take an extra P.E.K.K.A. But I think he has changed that by adding more wizards and witches instead of just P.E.K.K.A.s is just circle around the base and it's easier to clear the debris with wizards through the walls and everything goes to the center except for the archer queen again is not in the center and recently we've been seeing really either lava hounds and or balloons in the cc the the king has already gotten rid of the town hall and he has yet to use his ability now he popped the ability and he's already at 51%. So he already has two stars. There's no way he's going to get a three star. His Archer Queen is dead. Um, I think if he would have somehow gotten rid of the dragon before, he would have done much better. But it really doesn't matter. 62%. And the wizards are still active on this side. Um, they're going to quickly die now. So which is. And so, anyway, it's kind of interesting because I like to use jumps right now. I'm practicing either using three jumps or four jumps because I have a really bad time with wall breakers. And using earthquake spells, it does take up four spaces for your spells, but you don't actually have to bring, according the way, especially the way Bubble plays, you don't even have to bring any wall breakers, so he's able to bring uh, four pickets, sorry, not five. Three golems and 14 wizards and two witches. So let me know what you think about this plan. Resource based rings has been the nemesis of our clan, but but has been able to two star two town hall tens. So um, 
I think it's a viable strategy. If you've tried it, let me know. If you think it's not going to work all the time, let me know. And thanks for watching as usual and hope to see you soon.